All right, so here we are, episode 23. 23 episodes. That's pretty crazy. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I, some people said it couldn't be done. Actually, I think I was the one who said it couldn't be done. <laughs> so, so here we are. Um, and believe it or not, no errors to talk about. What? I know. Shocking. <laughs> Settle down, you. Okay, so no errors. We can get right into the game. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more of those hooded sissies. So Michael is going to head down the ladder in search of more cultists. Hmm, what's this? Time for a horror check. Two. He rolls a two and he passes easily. He's going to attack, we'll pull a combat card, ranged weapon. You aim for your enemy's heart. Test your marksmanship, minus one. Okay, he also gets a plus two to his marksmanship. Okay, using so his guns. he'll only get plus one on his bonus because he's now using Jenny's guns. He's going to get, uh, have to roll an eight or less. <laughs> its chest explodes in a spray of gore. Deal weapon damage plus three. So the weapon damage is three plus another three. Easily handles this wussy cultist. And for the end of his turn, Michael's going to climb back up the ladder. So Michael's back in the chapel, and assuming Gloria hasn't had any more unfortunate bowel accidents, he won't have to do a horror check. Now the player for Gloria didn't give us a move, but that's not their fault. We kind of rushed this video because we knew we were going to have to take a break for a couple of days and wanted to get one more out. But strategically, it may, seems to make sense that Gloria should stay put. Yeah, I'm going to be staying put as well for my turn. Okay, that makes it pretty simple. We'll move on to the keeper turn. Don't worry, everyone. We're not being flooded. That's just the water in the drains. It makes me have to go pee. <laughs> you and Gloria, two peas in a pod. Okay, so for the next video series, I'll tell you one thing. One promise I'm going to make to you is we're going to time these videos so that there's no water running, the heater isn't kicking in. But like I said, we wanted to rush this one video out before we took a little break. So, uh, it's the keeper turn. You guys aren't trading anything. I'm going to gain my three threat. And for sure I'm going to spend one of them to move this scary Shogun. One, two spaces. <laughs> I really don't think this, uh, Shogun <laughs> this bridge. I, I think he can fit, but I think he's heavy enough to probably break and fall into that deep chasm. <laughs> Alright, so then I have two threat left. Um, I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket and I'm going to plan that show up being my last, my last ditch effort. So I'm not going to worry about cultists attacking. I'm going to spend another so I can draw a threat and a trauma, which I will read later to save you guys time. And last but not least, um, I will spend one, well actually I'll keep one just in case I need it to pay for something later on in these cards. All right, uh, I got nothing that can attack, and we're ready to put uh, another token on the event deck, which means there's four tokens on here, and we can reveal the next card. Too late. The witching hour comes and goes without the ritual taking effect. Angry cultists start to flood into your room looking for a target for their rage. They quickly form a circle around you, and in a primal fury begin to tear you apart. If clue 1B has been found, the investigators win the game. Otherwise, all players lose. Wait. Uh, you read the wrong card? No, this is the right card. I thought we had another event card, but this is an old one that earlier in the game I had cycled under. <laughs> so this is the last turn! <laughs> and you guys did find clue 1B. Which means you win! <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, congratulations, investigators! Woo! <laughs> Rats! So my Shogoth, Shogoth, I guess, is um, stuck on the bridge. We'll never find out what happens. And you guys are close enough to the door. I'd say you guys have got your clue and you've escaped. Rats. That's awesome. Well, that is awesome. <laughs> you know what? Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Thank a lot you. of fun. Uh, I want to thank, I have, let's make sure I got their names right here. Gary Tanner, who played Harvey Walters, Wild Harvey Walters. Carl Cox, who played Gloria Goldberg. M.J.E. Hendricks, who was Michael McGlenn. And of course, Andrea. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Who played Jenny and, and, Kate. and Kate. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series. I hope you learned something from our mistakes and from the few things that we got right. We certainly had a lot of fun doing it. Okay. And we intend to do more. Yeah. Right? So be prepared. So be prepared. Um, there's going to be a short break. As I said, um, we're going to be away for a couple of days. That's going to give me some time to prepare things for the next video series. And the next time you see us, the look of the video series is going to be quite different. And different I think setup. different setup and I think improved. So we hope you check that out. And don't forget, the next video series is going to launch on a different YouTube channel called Watch, Watch It Played. Play. And we're going to have that linked in the description for this video. And uh, hopefully you guys will remember that. And hey, head over there early. It's already created, but I haven't started setting it up. But head over there and subscribe now if you're already a subscriber here and this hasn't turned you off. I hope you continue to watch, to subscribe on that channel, and be ready for the next video. All right. Awesome. Well, listen, I'm going to say a couple more things about the game to the viewers, but if you want to take off, because I know you want to make a phone call to a certain someone, go ahead. Well, he should. All right. Okay, so despite playing through an entire scenario of Mansions of Madness, there's still a lot more that this game has to offer than what we've seen here. There's more investigators to play with, there's more keeper actions that go with other scenarios, there's different monsters, there's zombies and witches, there's different um, floor layouts, different tiles, outdoor spaces, cemeteries, that kind of thing. There's obviously different scenarios, there's other combat cards for the different monsters, and lots more puzzles and trauma and mythos cards. So, don't worry, if you've watched this video series, there is still a lot more that this game has to offer than what you've seen here. Also, Fantasy Flight Games has already released two mini expansions that provide you with another scenario that have, I think, three different outcomes each to play through. So this game is, I'm hoping, going to be continue to be supported by Fantasy Flight Games and provide us with lots more options and playtime play moving forward. Now, that being said, um, I found this particular scenario, for the first two-thirds, it had a very strong narrative, and then towards the end, it became a little bit more of a cat-and-mouse game where we're just moving and attacking one another. And I've definitely played scenarios where it's been right down to the last turn, where the investigators are still scurrying around the house trying to find the different clues or trying to escape the house, and, and you know, it's a nail-biter right to the end. So, of course, every time you play, it's going to be a little different. And everyone you play with is going to be a little different because there's a certain amount of randomness with the dice rolling and with the fact that the explore cards are put in slightly different places each time you play, even when playing the same scenario. So before I wrap up this video series, I just want to say one last time, thank you all for watching. Um, when Andrew and I first started this, we were just hoping to be able to play a game we enjoyed with a few people online and to present it in a unique and different way. And it's really been received quite well, and people seem to be enjoying it. And I particularly appreciate when I hear the people have found through watching the video series that they're able to make a more informed decision about whether this game is right for them. Uh, I know for myself, uh, video reviews of games can be really, really helpful in trying to figure out which games are truly going to appeal to me as a player. The only problem is sometimes through watching video reviews, I find there's about 20 or 50 games that seem like they'd be perfect for me in my gaming group. And so what this seems to have done, although it's a bigger investment of time and you can't pump out you know, a lot of different video series at once like you can maybe a small review. If you're on the fence about a game, what I'm hoping is this kind of video series will fulfill that need to really help you figure out amongst those 20 or 50 games that you're interested in which one's really going to be the one that would be best suited for you and your gaming group and help you make a better informed decision about where to put your money. And so right now I've set a date in my mind of September 1st for the release of the new video series. And don't forget, that new video series is going to release on a new YouTube channel called Watch It Played. So if you want, that channel's already set up. There's no videos in it right now. But if you want to be on board right from the get-go, you can head over there now and subscribe. We really appreciate all the people who have been subscribing to this series already. Um, so if you want to stay with us as we do the next game, it's going to be a different game. It's not going to be Mansions of Madness. I haven't released yet which game we're playing. But go ahead and subscribe there and you'll be all ready when we start. Um, I might release a couple more videos to this channel just to tease what the game is going to be. And also maybe to explain how things are going to change a little bit in the way that we play with our players. One of the nice things we heard is that people like the way we do our video series. It feels like they're interacting and that they're participating in some way with the game as well. And I'm going to hopefully make some changes that are going to help increase that sense 
uh, of participation with the viewer. So I might be teasing a little bit of that as well. So keep your eye on this channel, but please, if you're enjoying the series and you want to keep, continue with us, go over and subscribe on the Watch It Play channel. So that's it. I'll end it here. Congratulations, players. You won, but I'll get you next time.